Welcome to the daily prayer recording from the Nativity of the Virgin Mary Macedonian Orthodox Church. Lord, allow me to peacefully receive what the day may bring, as well as surrender it completely to your holy will. Guide and help me every moment of this day. Whatever news I hear, may I receive it calmly and with a firm conviction that everything happens according to your holy will. Manage my thoughts and feelings in all my deeds and words. Do not allow me to forget in any unforeseen event that everything comes from you. Teach me to properly honor thy parents and love thy neighbor, to always lift others and instill happiness. Lord, Give me the strength to endure the fatigue of today as well as what happens within the day. Guide me with your will and teach me to pray, to believe, to hope, to endure, to forgive, and to love. Amen. Good morning, dear parishioners. Today, it's May 14th, and we are celebrating the life of the Holy Prophet Jeremiah. The Holy Prophet Jeremiah lived 600 years before the birth of Christ under the Israeli king Yosiah and four of his successors. He was called to prophesy service at the age of 15 when the Lord revealed to him that even before his birth the Lord had chosen him to be a prophet. Jeremiah refused, citing his youth and lack of his skills of speaking, but the Lord promised to be always with him and to watch over him. He touched the mouth of the Chosen One and said, Behold, I have put my words into your mouth. Behold, I have appointed you this day over nations and kingdoms to root and to and to pull down to destroy and to rebuild and to plant for that time jeremiah prophesied for 23 years denouncing the jews for abandoning the true god and worshiping idols predicting sorrows and devastating wars he stood by the gates of the city and in the entrance of the temple, everywhere where the people gather, and he urged them often with tears. The people, however, mocked and abused him, and they even tried to kill him. The king of the Jews, their impending enslavement to the king of Babylon, Jeremiah first placed of his own neck a wooden and then an iron yoke, at those he went about among the people, encouraged at the dire prediction of the prophet, the Jewish older threw the prophet Jeremiah into the pit filled with horrid, slimy creatures where he almost died. Nebuchadnezzar came, slaughtered many people at that time, carried off a remain into the captives and Jerusalem was pillaged and destroyed. Nebuchadnezzar released the prophet from the prison and permitted him to live where he wanted. The prophet remained at the ruins of Jerusalem and lumped with the nation's misfortune. According to the tradition, the prophet Jeremiah took the Ark of the Cavern with the tablets of the law and hid it in one of the caves of the Mount Nabeth, so that he so that the Jews could not longer find it. Among the Jews remaining at their fatherland, their son arose deadly clash. Hobbit Nazarachonosor victory was murdered. The Jews f- feared the, wo- the, the wrath of Babylon, decided to flee into Egypt. The prophet Jeremiah Disguard with their intention, predicting that the punishment which they feared would befill them in Egypt. The Jews 
would not listen to the prophet, however, and taking him along by force, they went to the Egypt and settled into the city of Tatis. There the prophet lived for four years and was repracted by the Egyptians, respected by the Egyptians. When Jeremiah prophesied that the king of Babylon would invite Egypt and unleash the Jews living there, the Jews murdered him. And that very same year, the, the same prophecy was fulfilled. There is a tradition that 250 years later, Alexander the Great transported the relics of the Holy Prophet Jeremiah to Alexandria. May our Lord Jesus Christ, through the, through the prayers of the Holy Prophet Jeremiah, bless us with the long life, peace, health, and salvation. And of course, we are looking forward to see you all on our Divine Liturgy this upcoming Sunday, starting at 10.30 a.m. May God bless you all.